What's going on guys? So I came across this article today on CNBC and I kind of want to react to it and just read a little bit and, and maybe we can discuss it in the comment sections as to what you guys think. But could Russia and the Ukraine situation potentially ruin cryptocurrencies causing them to either A, crash, uh, dismantle, or even let's say um, we start to see some new government digital currency start to come about but let me let me read this to you and let me see what you guys think about this so bitcoin sanctions could be next but most russians will not care uh washington takes aim at russia's access to digital cash as a u.s as the u.s and its allies levy heavy uh punitive measures against moscow the concern is that the kremlin as well as other um supporting people in the offensive on Ukraine will evade the sanctions regimen via digital tokens. So what they're basically saying is that the sanctions that we're putting on Russia and uh, President Vladimir Putin, you know, maybe having him be a little bit more having to go through a little bit more red tape to get his money or his people transfer money or the way that they do business with certain banks. You know, these sanctions that were quote unquote putting on uh, Vladimir Putin, you know, maybe he, he doesn't really care because of the fact that, you know, hey, you know what? Uh, cryptocurrency is decentralized. Maybe potentially they could be hiding or stashing cash in some cryptocurrencies uh, slash altcoins. So Bitcoin, amongst other altcoins, is decentralized and borderless, which means that they uh, that it doesn't respect national boundaries because there is no central authority to block transactions. Digital currencies are also considered to be uh, censorship resistant. So as Moscow's war on Ukraine rages on uh, rages on and the Russian economy and currency spiral to new lows, Washington is reportedly trying out a new way to dial up pressure on Putin's sanctions targeting cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. The Department of Justice announced early Wednesday uh, a new task force broadly designed to enforce sanctions. As part of that, it will target efforts to use cryptocurrency to evade U.S. sanctions, uh, launder proceeds of foreign corruption, or evade U.S. responses to Russian military aggression. Taking aim at Russia's access to digital cash comes as the U.S. and its allies, allies including uh, notoriously neutral Switzerland, levy heavy punitive measures against Moscow. So the concern is that the Kremlin and other uh, actors supporting the offensive of the Ukraine will evade the sanctions regimen by via digital tokens. We already went over that and discussed that um, are not owned or issued by a central authority like a bank. Bitcoin, uh, like most currencies, blah, 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 is decentralized and borderless, which means, okay, that's also in the headline. So since Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24th, stats from crypto data provider show that transactions on centralized Bitcoin exchanges in both the Russian ruble and the Ukrainian uh, uh, currency have surged to their highest levels in months. So that's very, very interesting. So um, before kind of the Russia and the Ukraine uh, whole geopolitical thing started, before Russia invaded uh, the Ukraine, we actually were seeing a little bit of a pullback, a little bit of a correction in cryptocurrencies, correct? I mean, I think we could all kind of agree that Bitcoin was taking a little bit of a tumble there under 40,000, 38, 37,000, 39,000, so forth and so forth. And as this war sort of has been evolving, cryptocurrency is sort of uh, you know, climbing that, you know, little staircase higher, I think today at $44,000. So, you know, what the question that I want to raise is, you know, maybe, and of course, there's a lot more factors that go into this. And this is just a very, very small piece of the pie. But is perhaps Russia using cryptocurrency to, um, you know, kind of elude and evade the sanctions that the US and NATO are kind of putting on Russia, right? So if NATO and the US, let's say, find this as sort of a threat, right? Because let's say if they can still conduct business via cryptocurrency uh, and on the blockchain, then maybe those sanctions aren't going to weigh so heavy on Russia and Vladimir Putin. So what I'm trying to say is, do you think that we could start to see a bigger, you know, regulatory force come into crypto what would this do to bitcoin and i'm just speaking of bitcoin even though there's you know i'm putting it into a uh, you know an over 
you know, the, all the cryptocurrencies and altcoins into a broad blanket. So when I say Bitcoin, I'm talking about kind of all of them, right? All is one. But could we essentially start to see um, regulations on crypto? Could we start to see, you know, um, maybe them trying to sanction Bitcoin among other altcoins? Um, and could we actually start to see, because obviously we know here in America, inflation is at a 45 year high. Interest rates are expected to start um, in the middle of March. Um, we are at the brink of a recession. And that kind of right now, all eyes are what's going on in Russia and the Ukraine that no one is really, really talking about that, you know, in less than about, you know, in less than a couple of weeks here, we essentially have the first interest rate hike that we've seen in you know, a very, very long time. And this could be the start of, you know, a recession. Um, and could we start to see maybe a transition from the actual paper dollar into some sort of government owned digital asset, some sort of government owned um, cryptocurrency, you know, so if you can't really uh, centralized cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and so forth and so forth like that. Well, then obviously on the blockchain, you can keep a lot of records and a paper trail, right? So it's it would seem that maybe this is kind of the start to some sort of overthrow because Russia is going to, you know, launder money through cryptocurrencies. Uh, just a little something, you know, that you guys can sort of ponder on. Again, this article just came out on CNBC uh, a couple of hours ago. I thought it was very, very interesting. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as I'm going to be covering all sorts of news on Russia, Ukraine, the stock market, finance, um, and anything that's kind of popping up in the finance world that's going to kind of sway the markets left or right. And we can have a little bit of a discussion on it. But, you know, I, I don't know where I stand on this, you know, a lot of these headlines and a lot of this news, you know, kind of sway the, the masses one way while something else is happening and, you know, kind of like on the back shoulder of things. But I just thought it was a little interesting that potentially now uh, the U.S. and its allies might want to uh, put a little bit of sanctions on cryptocurrency. How do you feel about if cryptocurrency had some sanctions on it, you know, uh, taking Russia out of the equation? But let me know what you guys think down in the comments and I'll see you guys all on the next video.